Hey guys, it's Luna. Welcome to this week's video. Today, we are basically dressing up like my celebrity lookalikes. I get comments all the time that I resemble somebody or look like some celebrity and I thought it'd be really fun for a video to kind of recreate their looks and do everything that they do to see if that's really true. There's ones I get like almost every day and that's Sarah Cameron from Outer Banks. Thank you because she's so hot. I think maybe it's like face shape or maybe it's the eyes. Definitely not the lips. <laughs> Phoebe Buffet from Friends all the time. Izzy from Grey's Anatomy all the time. I could definitely see this one, except I wish I looked like Katherine Heagle. Her smile, I love her smile. Her in 27 dresses. I get Maddie Ziegler, only my childhood icon. I do not see this one at all, but everybody says this. Ellie Thuman, Ellie Thuman. Ellie, I love Ellie, she's the coolest. This one I don't see at all. You know what? I can see a little bit in like the face structure. I get Sydney Sweeney who is from Euphoria. I get her all the time who is literally an icon. Imagine if I looked like that. Wait, this picture of her right here. It's my favorite picture I think of anyone of all time. Daisy Keach. So I'd say me and Daisy Keach have like the same butt. <laughs> Just kidding. I wish. I could definitely see this one I guess too. I wish I had blonde eyes. What did I just say? I wish I had blue eyes. And Amanda Seyfried from Mamma Mia. I definitely see this one. And I see me and my mom, Donna. She's Meryl Streep, I'll be Sophie. Someone said Margot Robbie in my dreams. I don't think I look like her, but thank you. Oh my God. Oh, Sabrina Carpenter. Interesting. Hunter Schaefer. Oh my God, I get this one too. Jewels from Euphoria. Gigi Hadid. <laughs> thank you. But no, in eighth grade, I did a Gigi Hadid makeup look. I'll tag it below, it's really funny. Like what? This picture is insane. But I mean, I'll try, I'll try it. Oh, someone said Ava Malosh, who we just became online buddies. I'm gonna definitely recreate a look and see if I look like her. Blake Lively, shut up, absolutely. Absolutely doing that, she's literally my icon. Someone said Zolita, hmm, I wonder why we might look alike. I also get Charlie Jordan, let's see. Yeah, I guess I could see it. I guess I'll recreate this look. Just kidding. Honestly, you guys, I think it's just because she's blonde. I'm getting a lot of people saying Beyonce. In my wildest dreams, do I look like Beyonce? Who do you guys think I am? Oh my god, you know who I get all the time? Mariah Carey. How random is that? I do not look like Mariah Carey. I think you guys got it pretty spot on. Now let's try it and see what happens. Before we get into it, I'm going to be using some clothes from Princess Polly today and I thought I would do a little haul. You guys know I work with Princess Polly literally all the time. Before we get into all these goodies, Princess Polly is my favorite online shop, you guys. They're always up to date with the latest trends. Everything is so cozy and so such good quality. They have free express two-day shipping to the US on orders over 50. They also offer afterpay to all US customers. And if you want to shop all these pieces that I'm about to show you, you can use my discount code which is right here and click the link in my description for 20% off. What I'm actually wearing right now is from Princess Polly. The shirt is literally the cutest little white blouse ever and the back is just so gorgeous. I love this corset like open back. Pants, you guys, these jeans. I have the hardest time finding jeans because my body type is just, I don't know, very hard to fit. And these are my new favorite jeans. I've been wearing them every single day. I just love the fit and like the kind of boot cut straight leg fit of them. This jacket, you guys, I got so many questions about this on my TikTok. Fall trend this year is oversized leather jackets. So get yours at Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with this. This little white shirt is similar to the one I'm wearing, but just super cozy and cute. I don't know. I love these little white blouses. This dress is also so gorgeous. I wore this in my Instagram post with the leather jacket. Very, very Y2K, very in slip dress vibed dress. I'm always looking for cozy sets since we're at home all the time now and I got two. Super simple, just little white tee and little scrunch shorts. This little set is also so adorable. I love this. This is so good for fall. It's a whole set, so it has a little bra inside, cardigan, and knit shorts. This dress is literally so hot. I'm living out my all my insta baddie fantasies. It scrunches on the sides, it's super adjustable, and this color is just super flattering. This set is so gorgeous. It comes with a little maxi skirt and this little top. All I want to do is go to some like fancy tea room and wear this or like a lavender festival. But this top, like I'll wear this top all the time, even on its own. Okay, this one might be my favorite new top. It's it's just this mesh top and it has these kind of sleeves and scrunches and I love the rust lining, like what do you call that, edging? So cute, so fall. I also got this really, really cute little basic 
white lace top. These little lace tops are super in right now. Go to Princess Polly, you guys. So cozy. I wear this all the time. And then these little sandals. I never wear shoes like this and I really want to get into it because they're just super cute. Especially because it's so hot in LA. We're in a heat wave and it's just a nightmare to put on shoes. Mini heels. Square heel. I don't know. And then lastly, they sent me this little baby pink skirt, which is so cute. You guys know I love my skirts. That is everything I got from Princess Polly this month. You should know by now how obsessed I am with Princess Polly. Everything in my closet is from there. I'm not even lying to you. They're overall just like the best one-stop shop for everything, and I love them. So thank you, Princess Polly, for working with me in this video. If you guys want to check out any of the stuff I just tried on and showed you, then use my discount code, click the link in my bio, and you will get 20% off your order. Again, they offer free two-day shipping to the US on orders over 50, they have afterpay, and there really is not a reason not to go. And I think you need a new fall wardrobe. <laughs> so go check it out. Thank you, Princess Polly. I love you. And I'll be using these pieces in the video to try and recreate these celebrity looks. So let's go. Okay, we are starting with person number one, which is Sarah Cameron. This is the one I get, I think, the top out of anything. So this is the outfit I'm recreating. Her style is like the opposite of my style. Like I really, I actually had to go to Walmart. <laughs> I actually had to go to Walmart to buy some of this stuff. I feel like she shops at like Francesca's, you know, that store. No hate, no hate. She's basically wearing a yellow tube top and white skinny jeans. I've never worn skinny jeans, let alone white skinny jeans a day in my life. And I do not have a tube top, but I bought one from Walmart. So let's just go. She has kind of straight, kind of beachy hair. I feel like my hair is fine how it is now. Wait a second. <laughs> Do I look like her? I feel like I really actually look like her. I think I just needed to dress like super basic in order to the <laughs> see the finished look. Wait, I'm shook right now. I had to put like so much lip liner to overline my lips to look like hers. I'm dead. What do we think? That being said, I feel I could see the resemblance. I get it. I'm gonna film that TikTok that's like, relax, John B. Get out of No, you don't, Topper. I just did all those TikToks. Go follow me on TikTok to see. Okay, moving on to the next. And the next one we're doing is Izzy Stevens from Grey's Anatomy. I get this one all the time as well. <laughs> I'm literally dead. I got these from Walmart. Honestly, really cozy. Like that. She'll have like a little updo like this. I don't know. I wish, again. I love Katherine Hegel. I think she's the coolest. What do we think? Do I look like Izzy or no? I can't believe I went to this extent to actually dress and try to look like Izzy by getting scrubs from Walmart. I'm literally dead. <laughs> Is this legal for YouTube? What do we think? <laughs> Definitely Charlie Jordan. <laughs> I'm gonna bronze abs on. I never thought I'd see the day. What do I do like this? Just bronzing my old stomach at this point. Hey guys, this is my Charlie Jordan, best I could do. What do we think? <laughs> I'm so insecure. Can you imagine working out like this? With no high waist like this? Doing sit-ups, I'd be like, literally. Let me see the picture first, I can remake it. She has necklace. I killed this one. <laughs> There's not much I really needed to do, but I killed this one. Okay, this next one is Maddie Ziegler, and I know I did not pick the best picture to like know if we look alike, but this could be me, probably. I'm wearing the Princess Polly jacket and the jeans, but what do you guys think? Do you think I look like Maddie Ziegler at all? Okay, here's another Maddie look. She had her hair like really slicked and like a black tank. I'm trying to get a photo that would be like hers. Man, this is hard. Okay, I mean, I guess I could see it. I get where you're coming from, but not really. Next up is Phoebe Buffet. This one I get all the time, and it was the hardest one to try and get stuff for. Oh my god, my abs are still contoured from Charlie Jordan. Kind of love it. Don't even ask why I have this. Two in one. Don't ask why I have it, but it's perfect for this one. Right now, we're doing Phoebe Buffet. I just have nothing of her fashion, but no. Maybe. Is this it? I don't know. This hair might be the most her. She definitely has really funky hair. I love it. I'm all for it. Did I nail this or not? I just can't tell. I'm done with this Phoebe look. Time for our next one. I just did a Phoebe TikTok. It was really funny. Go watch it. Okay, guys, this is the next one, which is Sydney Sweeney. I think I kind of nailed the look. These jeans I got from my mom's closet, and they're not high-waisted. She definitely has way bigger boobs than me. I think we nailed it with this one. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think I did pretty good. Okay, I'm putting together the Ava Malosh look. I have the exact same shirt she has, except she was wearing these cute little like long jean shorts that I don't have. I have these jeans, but I want to cut them, so I'm going to cut them right now. Okay, guys, here's my Ava Malosh 
outfit replica. What do you guys think? Do you think I look like her in any way? I wish I did. We're wearing the same shirt though, which is so cool. This shirt is actually from Princess Polly. It's just from one of my past hauls. Okay, let me try and copy one of her photos and we'll put them side to side. Love this fit. Next one we have is this Daisy Keach. I feel naked. <laughs> okay, this one is Daisy Keach. I tried to go off this photo where she's kind of wearing a similar shirt to this, but she's wearing bikini bottoms. And I literally feel so naked on this camera, but this bikini is actually from Princess Polly as well. Let's look at the photo and see how I did. Her hair is kind of like this. I need an otter pop. Okay, I tried to take photos. I am definitely not as hot as Daisy Keach in any way, shape, or form. Okay, there's another Daisy Keach photo where she's wearing this shirt, but in white. And I want to try and get this exact photo. Okay, we're doing Serena Vanderwoodson now from Gossip Girl and I'm trying to figure out how to tie a tie. Mom? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How in the world? How do I tie a tie? How? How did you do that? What in the world? Okay, this is definitely the best one I did. No? I love dressing like this. Uh, Gossip Girl is my favorite show of all time. It's an honor to be even consider that I look like Serena. I'm gonna make a TikTok because I found a really good sound for Serena. Okay, this next one, <laughs> I look like I'm wearing a bra. This is actually a bathing suit. This next one is Sabrina Carpenter. She always has the most voluminous hair though. I'm gonna try and replicate it. Okay, I tried to take the photo. It was okay, but next one we're gonna do is Gigi Hadid. I saw a paparazzi photo of her and she was basically wearing this. I tried to do this high pony, but she had like a middle part, which I don't even know is physically possible, but I like pinned it confusingly. Excuse me? What did you just say to me? I could definitely see the resemblance. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, let's try and take photos and see if we can see any resemblance. Okay, here's the next Gigi look. I literally look like an egg. The fact that she can pull off this where it looks like you have literally no hair. Then you know she's a friggin' model, because she is. Um, I think I did pretty good with this one. I'm gonna try and take selfies like she is, and we'll see side to side whether I did it right or not. It could honestly be a really cool look, except for the fact that I look like an egg. Moving on to our very last one, which is very special, and I've always wanted to do this, and this is Sophie and Donna from Mamma Mia. Everyone always says it's me and my mom, so. Flipping through my fingers all the time. My mom got all ready for this, but she I only did makeup on one, one side. Because it was supposed to be from the side, and so I got one eye ready. <laughs> and her hair's like this, what? Nothing. You're, doing. <laughs> I'm You're so awkward. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> yeah. So everyone always says we look like that. Do my fingers. <laughs> We're gonna try and take a photo. No. <laughs> ah! ow, 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 ow. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, so <laughs> I'm laughing. I was laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, it's literally dark outside now, and we are finally done. <laughs> we spent all day doing this, and I had so much fun. I want to know from you guys who you think I resembled most, so comment down below. Again, thank you, Princess Polly. You can use my code on the screen right here, and my link in the description to get 20% off. Go follow my TikTok to see all those TikToks I made today, and my Instagram as well. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you next week. Bye!